after all Nothing can make us fall apart You can watch her roll around back there. Hello, party people. Oh, a fly. Welcome. Are you ready to hang out together? Let's do it. I don't have many things on my list today, but did you see the charcuterie board that I made? I mean, I'm getting pretty good at this thing. Not really, but it is a lot of fun to make them. I was really impressed this morning with my like honeycomb stick. I've had that for years. First time I've ever used it. I picked it up like so long ago and I thought, man, this thing is so cool. Never used it because like, I usually just squeeze the honey, you know what I mean? And um, I was really impressed that I had a little spreader stick. <laughs> It's the little things in life. And now I'm sure I will be obsessed with scouring Amazon or whatever Target for like little bowls, serving bowls that I could put little dips of, oh, what's that stuff called? Condiments in? Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Charcuterie boards are my life these days. Well, not really. Slash kind of really, because what else is there to look forward to? So I'll probably make another one of those for lunch. Lunchtime, I usually just throw a bunch of like snacky foods so the kids can enjoy it slash all of us can enjoy it. I also plan on going through Meredith's uh, dresser and closet today. She's outgrowing so many of her clothes. She needs more clothes, especially since I dyed half of them blue on accident. I put them through the wash. It's a long story. If you follow me on Instagram, you know about it, but that happened. Needless to say, she needs some clothes. The kid is growing and I kind of don't want to spend full price on them. Meredith, what are you doing? Uh, speaking of clothes, I got a dress from Target the other day. Uh, so I'll probably try that on with you. Should I try that on right now? Let me try it on right now. It's so cute. You're going to love it. By the way, I'm, I'm wearing a dress today that has shorts under it. Isn't this so cool? Hello, honey. Hello, honey. Did you guys watch her? Take good care of her while I was changing. Uh, okay, so this is the dress. Oh my God, can we talk about it? Do you love it? It has pockets. Do you love it even more now? Um, you know what? Oh my gosh, how much do you love this? I love it. Uh, although I think it's a tad too big, mostly in this area. I don't care what it is. I'm breastfeeding. I'm still more than my normal weight. I still don't fill the top out. It's like, you know, hanging down this way. I thought for a second while I was putting it on, like, oh, I should have ordered a size up. What was I thinking? But now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I should have ordered a size down. So especially the back here, it's like kind of low. I don't know. So I might have to order a different size slash. There's like four other dresses that I had in my Target cart that I thought, should I or shouldn't I? And I'm thinking, well, maybe I should. <laughs> I don't know though. It's like, where am I going these days to even get dressed? I am kind of sick of my leggings though. Thought that sentence would never leave my lips. Meredith, look at her go. Look at her go down there. What are you doing? You're a big girl. 
All right, what else is on my to-do list? What's on your to-do list? Clean car and vacuum. I think that can wait a day or two or weeks. Who wants to clean their car? It's like we're going nowhere. Like sometimes we'll go to the trail or something to walk or ride our bikes and the car is trashed. I don't know what happens. Oh, I have to print out slash make a morning routine chart for Wentworth. We have decided, we're like, <laughs> I say we have decided, but I'm still like, have we decided? We haven't paid yet, but I think we're leaning toward putting Wentworth in pre-K three. He'll be almost four. All of our kids have done pre-K three at their school. And I think he's just ready for the social interaction, for the learning aspect. I just, for so many reasons. Anyway, so I want to try to get him on like a good morning routine starting now throughout the summer slash our school's gonna open again. I mean, triggered, am I right? You know what, I feel like if the schools don't open back up again this fall, parents are gonna riot. <laughs> And then I have on here go to the turtle park. It's just like a little trail that we go to. Uh, but there's like this lake and a bridge where there's a ton of turtles. And uh, we were cleaning out our garage the other day and apparently we found turtle food. I don't know from where or when. Alex said we had it from when we had a fish. And I'm thinking, we haven't had a fish in like over five years. Is the turtle food still good? Slash why did we buy turtle food for a fish? So many questions left unanswered, yet we have the turtle food and there's no expiration date on it. So I figured we might as well try to feed the turtles. Why not? Oh, and speaking of the weather, holy crap, you guys. It's like, what is going on with mother nature right now? I know some of you, it's like still snowing. So for us here in Florida, yesterday it was like, you know, chilly. I opened the windows. It was nice outside. Avelina says, it feels like Christmas today. <laughs> Which is pretty accurate. I mean, Christmas time in Florida is around 50, 60 degrees. Where did Meredith go? <laughs> She's right here. You little roly-poly. You rolled everywhere, didn't you? <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at my list. That's pretty much all that's on it. So let's just head over to Meredith's room. Head over there because it's such an adventure right down the hall, guys. These are the things we have to look forward to these days. Let's go take a field trip to your bedroom. Are you ready? <laughs> look how big she is. You're getting so big. You are. Oh, first though, I have to take this dress off because I do plan on returning it, but I just wanted you to get a better look at it. Maybe a better look at the print, the style. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love the buttons. They do work so it's easy access for breastfeeding, which is always a plus. We've made it to our final destination. Okay, I'm washing the comforter, but we'll get over life right now. So, this is her drawer of clothes. It looks pretty stocked, but I would like to say half of this stuff does not fit her anymore. And some of it is, you know, not weather appropriate. So I'm gonna have to go through all that. And then over here we have, let me put Meredith down. Okay, honey. Okay, honey. She does the hollow man whenever she lays down. <laughs> Who's that baby in the mirror? Who's that baby? Oh, hello, baby. Okay, and then we have this drawer. This one, well, drawer, whatever this thing is. This one is the marble run. Love to keep that in here. Mostly so I don't fill it up with um, even more clothes. And then in here are clothes that don't fit her yet. Slash clothes that she has grown out of. Slash stuff that we have not used. Like these socks. And just, you know, random stuff. So I'll have to go through that too. Aren't these bins so stinking pretty though? It's like my favorite thing I own pretty much. Yeah. I love how I said we have to go through it, but I pushed it back together. And then up here, those are blankets. I think those are burp cloths, maybe some diapers in here too. What else is in there? Oh yeah, yeah, diapers that she grew out of that I plan on selling, but just haven't gotten around to it yet. A bunch of stuff that could probably be organized. And then some more clothes that don't fit her. Oh wait, this one. Oh, I think this one finally will fit her. Maybe still a little too big. I got it for like a dollar, isn't it? Darling. Do you wanna wear it? Do you wanna wear this? <laughs> yeah. Let's see if it'll fit you. Oh yes. I love rompers on babies. On adults, not so cute. <laughs> on babies 100%. Oh my goodness, are you just the cutest little thing? The buttons. Oh my goodness gracious. 
Here she is. Outfit of the day. They can't even see her outfit. Every time I sit her down, <laughs> it's so funny. She just does a little hollow man for a minute. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, your little rosies. Mmm, hollow man, work those abs. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> those eyebrows. Mary, you say hi to her friends. Say hi. Say hi. Oh, man. <laughs> you okay? Oh my gosh, by the way, Avelina asked if I was going to a wedding this morning <laughs> because I had a dress on. I said no, I'm not. I wonder how many weddings have been canceled. It's so sad. It's been like two hours, no big deal. <laughs> Happy to report the baby is sleeping. So I think I'm just gonna take all these clothes out. And I was looking too, these are all washcloths and um, like baby wipes. She's got some bows over here and also some things that she just doesn't use like these mittens, like she's growing out of them, she's getting so big. And then like, you know, newborn hats and stuff that she hardly, I don't think she ever wore these. Ugh, waste of money. I can give these to someone who's having a baby. They're basically brand new. Mittens too. How do you guys store hair bows for your kiddos? Slash, I hardly ever put these on her because Alex literally thinks that I'm ruining her brain. I don't know how to say it. He thinks they're putting so much pressure on her soft spot. So I never put them on her. Wasted more money, I guess. Oh my gosh, look at this. I have so much space. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. I will follow you wherever. And I won't waste it. Slow this down, my heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste it Okay, so this is what we're working with. Obviously, I still have dirty clothes in the dirty laundry. <laughs> Clearly, she is awake from her nap. Hello, Miss Meredith. Okay, and then over here are all of the clothes that she has outgrown. Oh, and that's just her drawer. I still have that thing to go through, which is halfway filled with newborn clothes. And I'll just take all of these down because I know they don't fit her. It's so sad for me to pack some of these up though because like, look how stinking cute this little sweater is. Oh, it's so sad. She only wore it like a couple of times. And then some of these outfits, oh, excuse me. Like, what are you doing here? Oh, are they in your way? So sorry. Meredith, you're being a little punk. Some of these outfits, like this one, like some of her Christmas outfits, just oh, make me wanna cry. Just, why do babies grow so fast? It's not fair. Wait, what is that? Did this come out of my pocket? Oh, Reese's wrapper. That's my life. Yes. <laughs> you look like you're in pain. You say, Mama, Papa, Ma. <laughs> yeah. That's a good story. That is. <laughs> you look like you're having a hard time. <laughs> Mama? Yeah, that's good. Good talking. 
<laughs> she looks like sad and confused, <laughs> scared. Mama. Look at this sweet little dress. Yes, it's been hours again. Don't ask me. It's just mom life, you know what I mean? I also had an outfit change because I realized I did kind of look like I was going to a wedding and plus I went to the bathroom and I had shorts on, you know, so I couldn't lift the dress up. I had to pull it down and I thought, I'm not doing this for the rest of the day. Okay, now to go through this, that is all cleared out. I think I showed you and I think I might as well since I'm in here organize this, those little cubbies as well. But I don't have any bins to put in those cubbies, so... That'll be interesting. Oh, Meredith never got to wear this. <laughs> I was lost, I was lost without any direction. Had a line so many times, but I needed attention. No matter what I say, no matter my regrets, things still been said and done. Mm -hmm. There's not a part of me that wants to say no. a little better wouldn't you agree uh, I don't really know what I did there was just a bunch of crap in there that I put it away and then this is all the like stuff new with tags that I haven't used I don't know if I will use it's just I don't know you know what I mean now that that's done I've worked up quite an appetite so I think I'm gonna throw together some uh, snacks and stuff for the kids lunch maybe it's not really lunch but you know it's before dinner and I did place a target order and it's ready. I didn't buy any baby clothes because I just, it's like $8 for one onesie. And I know if I go to Once Upon a Child, it, it's like 50 cents for a onesie. So I, it's so hard. I don't know where I was going with that. Trying to justify the fact that I bought clothes for myself and not my baby. <laughs> I mean, I have to return that dress anyway. So you know what I mean? Exchange it, I'm not returning it. I'm just exchanging it for a different size. Hopefully this extra small fits me. I don't know if it will. Let's just go make some food. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. craft here <laughs> I just cut up whatever we had in the fridge that looked good I mean they're playing hard so they need some you know water filled fruits pineapple we have five pineapple in my fridge so we're gonna have pineapple every day from now on all right I'm gonna bring it outside I've just got some cucumbers oh wait I grabbed some hummus from outside I'm just gonna shove that right up there too a carrots cucumber peanut butter pretzels Keep their bellies full, a little bit of protein, and we're good to go. Hold us over till dinner time. Maybe, probably not. Ooh, maybe some tuna fish. Side note, are you guys ready for summer? Like how good does that watermelon smell? Oh wait, you can't smell it. it looks good though, right? <laughs> Hello, Meredith. You look so sweet. Okay, I just printed out a recipe that I want to try out with you guys. It's called No Bake Chewy Peanut Butter Oatmeal Bars. They're supposed to be like a healthier dessert option. I'll let you know how they really taste. And I'm working on uh, getting Wentworth's like to checklist, to-do list, morning routine, if you will. I'm putting it together. This is one of the girls and I'm just grabbing pictures what your desktop doesn't look like this i'm just grabbing clip art pictures and i'm just gonna put them right in here so i'm just gonna do that really quickly oh by the way different outfit 
I just, you know what guys? I just don't even want to talk about it at this point. I don't. It's like, I don't want to wear leggings, but also feel like, why not? They're comfortable, keep everything in. I just, you know, nothing else fits me right now. And I'm just gonna roll with it. Oh wait, I did order those dresses. They should be in in a few days, so. But then it's like, I'm not going anywhere. Why do I need a dress? A lot of mixed emotions happening, but until then, leggings are my friend. I should not try to fight it. Why? Why am I trying to pick a fight with leggings? What did they do to me? All they do to me is make me feel good. They're comfortable. <laughs> they make me feel happy. I don't know about it, guys. All right, you know what? You wanna see these bars? Oh, by the way, what else I'm looking at online? Baskets. I'm trying to find like bins or baskets that are small enough to fit in that shelf in Meredith's room. I can't find anything that size. It's such a weird, it's 11 by nine. Which way is 11? It's, it's 11 by nine. That's wrong. I think it's 11 inches long. Either way, it's a weird size. I'm looking at Target also for whatever reason. I'm like getting obsessed with organizing my kitchen baking supplies. I just, I've fallen down the rabbit hole of YouTube looking at way too many organized kitchens, making me, you know, giving me a false sense of confidence in thinking that I can organize my crap. I just don't see that happening anytime soon. I'm trying though. I'm looking so, I almost, I got this close, went to order something out of stock. What? Come on. It was like 60 bucks. I thought hard on that and still no reward. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. If I find like a reasonable, like organizing solution, I'll eventually share that with you. I am going through Amazon too and finding some things, but then I'm thinking, do I wanna spend $200 just to look at something nice? Or, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Isolation is getting to me. I just wanna work out. Can I just work out without being interrupted? Please. I just wanna do some yoga. Oh yeah, trigger, I need a yoga mat. Someone stole my yoga mat. <laughs> Don't wanna spend $40 on a new yoga mat either. Let's just melt away our sorrows in some no-bake chewy peanut butter oatmeal bars. It's got chocolate in it, so I'm down. All right, so we need some unsweetened shredded coconut. I got that. Ooh, crushed pretzels. It's like I'm reading this for the first time. It's been like, I've been wanting to make this for a long time. I'm glad today's the day. All right, I've got my bowl. It says sugar-free chocolate chips. What? Is there such a thing? I don't want to know about it. I don't want to eat a sugar-free chocolate chip. No, thank you. Oh, oats. The main ingredient. Okay, we've got one cup of oats here. It says quick cooking. I don't have that crap. I've got the whole oats. You use what you have. One cup of shredded coconut. That's pretty good. You see what I'm doing down here? Not really. It's a great camera angle. Someone's gonna fire me. Half a cup of crushed pretzels. Good thing we're at the bottom of this pretzel bag. Oh, it hurts my hands. I crushed these dang pretzels. Oh, God. Oh, dang, that hurt. Was that half a cup? I'm going in for more. Oh, man. You know what? I say this all the time. I should have used my food processor. That's what I should have done. Should have put my apron on. There's a lot of things I should do. Oh, well. Oh, and a dash of salt, we're gonna skip that step. All right, it says to mix this up, that's good enough. Okay, wait, honey and peanut butter. Oh, the chocolate goes on top, I guess? All right, we've got half a cup of this natural peanut butter. Oh my gosh, if I can even get it out of here, I need muscles for this. Oh, man, don't they know I haven't worked out in months? All right, half a cup of this garbage. Is that a half a cup? Oh, perfect. And then a half a cup of honey. Half a cup of, I am assuming you can use agave, maple syrup, whatever you have, slash like. And then give this a good mix. All right, it says to line that with parchment paper. Well, guess what I don't have? You guessed it. So I'm gonna use some Pam. Not sure if that's gonna do anything. And then it says to press this mixture right in the bottom. Well, obviously the bottom. Where else would you press it to? Mmm, licking my fingers, spoiler alert. It's delicious. Oh my gosh, the saltiness from the pretzels. You definitely don't need to add salt. I mean, unless you really like salt. What, eight by eight? Yeah, right, I would use like a smaller pan. 
All right, well, I guess the rest is just for me to eat. I'm gonna grab this. You know what? I wonder if I can roll this into balls. Mmm. You might know this trick if you make Rice Krispies a lot. Spray the back of the spoon, shove this in the freezer for like 30 minutes, then you top it with uh, whatever, chocolate. I'm just gonna shove it in for however long it takes me to melt the chocolate. I don't have room. No room in my freezer, so I threw it in my fridge. It says half a cup of chocolate chips. Yeah, I'm gonna do more than that. Even that's a three quarters cup. I'm gonna do a full cup. I like to live life on the edge. These are no longer healthy. <laughs> I searched high and low for this coconut oil. Ooh, got it open. I even went to my bathroom. I couldn't find it anywhere. Guess where it was? Last place I looked. Just a tablespoon. Let's zoom you in on this crap. You don't wanna miss out. Here's the magic. It's like one of the most wonderful things to see, melted chocolate. If this doesn't make you happy, it could only mean one thing. You have a dairy allergy. Take two. Oh, that's the stuff. How delicious that is. Let's top it off. This got a whole one minute to chill. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on top. I mean, what's the harm? Why do we have to waste 30 minutes waiting for this to set? You know what I mean? Don't waste your life. Just do it this way. I mean, what's, gonna, what's the harm? What's gonna happen? Perfect, look at that. One cup was just enough, and then you get to drink the rest of that. That's what I, that's what I want during my happy hour. You know what I mean? Now you can chill it, or don't. I don't care, do you want to? I bet you can eat it right away if you really wanted to. Just cut it in, it says 12 squares. Those are small squares, I would say maybe eight. <laughs> this is what it looks like after quite a while in the fridge. The chocolate hardened up, obviously it's not tempered so it will melt in your hands. Keep that in mind if you wanna eat, like we just ate it with our hands. We held it like a bar, it's like no big deal. We're not raised by wolves or anything. Um, but it does taste a lot like my energy balls. My energy balls are healthier, I'm pretty sure. So if you want that recipe, I don't know. I'll link it below. Well, I'll try. No promises. It's been quite a few days since I last filmed. We went and fed the turtles. I'll put that footage at the end. But I thought before I shared that with you, I will share with you a Once Upon a Child haul. Yes. So the one near me opened up recently and um, you know with restrictions they're only allowing a certain amount of people in the store and they're also allowing people to make appointment times so um, you would be the only one in the store and it's for like 20 minute increments. So I went in there and I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff as fast as I could and it was really nice. And on top of all of that, getting a good deal on baby clothes and kids clothes, I bought some water shoes, I bought some stuff for my older kids. I basically like just whipped around the whole store real quick. <laughs> More stuff that my kids need. My kids need shoes. They're like growing out of their actual shoes, but you know, where are they going? Nowhere, so they don't need them right now. Where was I going with that? My hair is a mess. I just took a shower. I was like gardening this morning. Where was I going with that? Oh, not only did I benefit from, you know, using Once Upon a Child because secondhand clothing, saving the environment, saving money, but also I am supporting that small business, which is, I think, paramount right now because holy cow. As a small business owner, I mean, I'm a sole proprietorship, so is my husband. I mean, I'm just gonna make this face, okay? Let's get into the haul. So here's the bag. You probably saw it on my nightstand behind me. Um, I'm just gonna dump everything out and then organize it. The reason I showed you this is because they're not using bags either. I mean, least amount of contact possible. Well, that was a journey trying to lay everything out. It's not even everything. So I have baby clothes right here, big kid bathing suits right there, Wentworth's clothes, not even all of them. And then I have a stack of big clothes right here. I'll go through them one by one with you. I also have a pair of water shoes for each of my kids. And if I told you how much I spent on all of this, you are not gonna believe me. $125. Are you on all of this? The water shoes alone at the store, at least $15, $20 each. Do you know what I mean? Like what? I have two bathing suits, five bathing suits actually. I am free, like, I just love this store so much. Why does anyone shop anywhere else? <laughs> <laughs> 
So I'll show you Wentworth's, for whatever reason, he is like obsessed with having um, sleeveless shirts. So I found the Mecca. I found a whole section of sleeveless shirts. So I just went crazy and I got him one, two, three, four, five. These were like, this one was two fifty. Most of them were $1.50 a piece. I think all the rest of them were. He ripped off, that's $1.50. He ripped off the tags to a few. He also got a pair of Nike shorts, like just lounge around shorts. And I was like, oh my, I hit the jackpot. I mean, the Nike shorts were like $4.50, but they're in friggin' Nike shorts. I was freaking out, to say the least. Okay, two little bathing suits I got for Meredith. We do plan on going to the beach this weekend. Maybe I'll share that with you if we go. We're still on the fence about it. My eyes smell ginger and soy sauce. I just put like a chicken marinade in and scrubbed my hands. I still smell it. Okay, maybe I got it on my clothes. I don't see it anywhere. So, like a bathing suit, $3.50. I think this one was 4 or $5.00. Flamingos, just can we marvel at how darling this is? I love the rash guards for the babies, so I don't have to like lather them in sunscreen. Uh, cute little dress over here. Ooh, this one was a splurge. It was $5.50, but I just, that is so darling. This one over here, I love jumpers. I love these jumpers on babies. $2.50 for this. This is a cute little dress. $4.50, but this one was on clearance. I, I don't know why I love giraffes so much. Uh, so it was half off. This one, brand new with tags, was only $2.50. Are you screaming right now? And it's a cute little jumper. This one, four, ooh, four fifty, dollars but it is cute. It's from Old Navy, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. And then this lemon dress, are you salivating? Because this is the most darling thing you've ever seen your whole summer. This one also on clearance. I love how baby clothes have like pock, like what are they holding? You know what I mean? Women's clothes don't even have pockets. 350, half off. Oh, and then this cute summer dress. Like, can they sell it in my size, please? Love that. Another jumper right here, cute little print. This one was 250. And then just a cute little top with these bloomers. 350 for that one. Oh, and then I found some hats. So, I'm not even kidding. I almost spent $20 on a stinking hat from Amazon because Once Upon a Child was closed and the hat that she has now, the Velcro, just isn't, isn't up to snuff, okay? These hats, $250 for this one, $150 for this one. Cute little bucket hat, summer hat. We're outside a lot, so love to have that. And then three more outfits right here. This one is a little big, but she'll grow into it, obviously. I couldn't pass it up, $3.50 just so darling and then this one I like to buy this one was 450 but for like a whole outfit guys come on um, I like to buy clothes that are comfortable like I don't like this is a comfortable one and it's super cute um, but I don't like to buy clothes that I mean obviously are uncomfortable like dresses with that material you guys know what I'm talking about a lot of cotton stuff this cute little fox could not pass him up and I think that's it. Oh, there were so many things that I had in my hand that I thought, oh, like I want it so bad, but also like this is, I mean, this is a whole wardrobe, you know what I mean? And then the bathing suits I got for the, my Avelina, my nine-year-old, and then Eleanor. How much were these? I mean, it's like stupid and inexpensive. $4.50. Like for a bathing suit, $4.50. Guys, I just bought them bathing suits for Easter, $3.50 for that one. For Easter, $20 a piece. Do you know what I mean? At $4 for a bathing suit? I like for them to have multiple because we have a pool and sometimes it's wet or it's in the wash or in the dryer or you know, whatever. It's like for them to have multiple. <laughs> Because I said so, $2.50, this is for Eleanor, just right up her alley. I kind of wish they had one in my size, like a wild child, and it's like 3D, I love that. $1.50 for this little tank top. Oh my God, it's like a tunic. Oh, and then this one, $2.50. Do you see the detail on this? A cute little pockets on here, what are you gonna fit in there? A bobby pin, it's just so darling. I had to have it, had to have it. Wished I had it in my size, do you know what I mean? And then this is just right up her alley. This <laughs> sweet little Eleanor, two fifty for that. Oh, and then this one, she loves two dollars and fifty cents. It's got these like sequins on it, little cat. Uh, this could be for either of my girls. They're at that age where they, you know, kind of wear the same size. Like if something's big. Uh, so this one was three fifty. Gosh, gosh, like oh my gosh. And then this one, Arizona brand, three fifty for that. 
Oh my gosh, just, anything with Justice, my nine-year-old absolutely adores. Three fifty dollars for this one. At Justice, for sure, it'd be at least $20. Uh, she wasn't totally into this one, but that's okay. Oh, it even says totally. Look at my brain reading things without me realizing it. $3.50 for that. Oh, my nine-year-old loved this one. And I think it even had like a little peekaboo sleeve action up there. So $2.50 for that. A cute little summer dress for Eleanor. How much is it? Mm, the tag got ripped off. It's from Old Navy though. Couldn't have been more than a few dollars. And then last one I got, I figured this could be like a bathing suit cover up, $3.50. Nice little like wear to the beach or it's nice and um, a lightweight material. You know what I mean? And plus it's darling and it has, pa seriously want this in my size. What, what brand is it? Basic additions. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> but can you believe I spent, you know, $125 on all of it. All of it. I honestly can't. I can't believe it. I love Once Upon a Child. You should find one in your area. P.S. I know they're not open yet, but water parks. Last time we went to Aquatica. Oh, that's the worst water park to go to without shoes. The, the ground was scolding hot. I'm not even kidding. Scolding hot. And I am not a wimp, but I could, I don't know how people do it. So if you are planning a trip to Aquatica, you definitely need some water shoes, just saying. And this is what she's getting into while I'm filming my haul. Hello, Meredith. Are you inside of my curtains? <laughs> Gave her some toys to play with, but apparently she couldn't care less. Hey, Meredith, wanna show them your skills? Show them your skills when you try to crawl. Oh, yep, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Here, you want that? Here, come get it. Look how big. Come get it. Yeah. Whoopsie. Oh, you just want the curtain. Okay, whatever. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I will insert some clips of us feeding some turtles. It's accelerating. Uh, but I will see you next time. Bye. I feel like I got nothing done, what I said I would in the beginning of the video. But... I did get this finished, uh, Wentworth's little morning routine checklist. Oh wait, you know what's different? On the girls I left space and I wrote, you know, Avelina's morning routine. Aw oh, man, that was an oversight. I had to fit all these pictures in so I, you know, made the margin smaller. Anyway, so this is gonna be his morning routine. It, it's whatever. I got this little pocket thing from when Target had them in the dollar spot for a dollar. I think um, Dollar Tree sells them as well. They just mark with marker if they've done it or not. Um, and the turtle footage, that I, I can't find it. I think I have like a video vertical style of some turtles. So I must have deleted uh, what I took. But anyway, I'll show you that real quick. Bye. Everything. At the turtle.